So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're gonna actually build a server with Docker Compose so that we have to write minimal stuff on command line and maximum things inside a file which is like appealing to the eyes, right? So that is the purpose of uh, using a Docker Compose file. So first things first, I'm gonna change the image to let's say something like my first server right container name would be server only does not really matter um, this build context would remain same but the command um, is something which I want right so I want to start off a server as soon as I write docker compose up so for that we have to do a bunch of changes here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this from Ubuntu to something which is a little bit more suitable for us that is from Python Right, so when I make use of from Python, I can be definitely sure that Python is by default installed um, in this image, whatever I'm using. Right, so I really don't really want these run commands. What I want is I want to change my work directory from whatever it is by default to root folder after actually copying it. Right, so here's what's happening. I choose a Python image, that means I would get Python by default then I copy my folder, which is this particular thing, 1.txt and 2.txt uh, stuff, into root folder, which is the default directory for the root user. And then finally, I change my work directory as well to this particular thing. What do I mean by work directory? This is basically the path which you would get when you run this container in interactive mode by default. So for example, if I create a terminal here, you're gonna see I get the same directory as the last one. So this is my work directory for this particular terminal currently. So work directory by setting work directory to root folder. Now whatever command I'm running next would be executed when my terminal, when my session is in this particular folder on the Linux machine. So anyway, now what I can do is I can write Python 3m http.server and let's say one, two, three, four, right? And it's safe. So now if I go ahead and Docker compose up this thing, what I'm gonna see is it creates the server and it attaches to the server and it stays there, right? So it stays there because we are actually running a server right here, right? So now what happens is I want to actually visit this but I cannot really go to localhost 1234 and just ignore the darkness of Google or anything because I'm running a simple extension for dark theme because I'm sitting in a dark room. So everything's dark. Well, okay. So we have this command running, but how do I access it um, on my host machine? Well, you should know that we have discussed this, discussed this in the past that you have to actually forward the ports now, remember that when you were creating container by default, you would forward the ports by something like Docker port number and then, you know, host port and then the port inside the container. And then you have your further commands. But what you can do when you're using Docker Compose is you can straight away go out and say, hey, I want these many ports to be exposed. So what I want is I want to forward and it's not really forwarding as well. It's just, it's basically mapping the port. So I want to map the port 1234 on my host to 1234 on my container, right? And hit save. And now if I go ahead and run Docker Compose up build, what I'm gonna see is it's, it waits, but now I can go ahead and refresh this and you're gonna see that we get a directory listing, which is the default behavior when you're running a Python server. So I can open the text file one and text file two and it, it just works as expected. So yeah, this is like the use of command. Now you do not really explicitly have to say that you want to run um, uh, that particular thing um, directly, right? So that's that's one way to go about. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video, creating a very basic server using Python and uh, Docker Compose. So that's all for this one and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one real soon